Don't have to tell you it's Friday, but I do want to tell you that means new movies are coming out. Yep, from the resurrection of a horror movie favorite to the story of the Queen of Soul, we have a look at what's new from the director's chair. He's back. Somebody said his name in the mirror five times. Don't do that. Candyman is new in theaters, resurrecting the 90s horror icon for a new generation. The urban legend is, if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection and it kills you. Hey, it's actually not a remake, it's a sequel to the original. The vengeful urban legend ghost with his hook hand and his bees buzzing sweets for the sweet is back, just a little tweaked. This time haunting a Chicago artist, Watchman's Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, who's accidentally summoned him and begins to go mad. It's produced by Get Out's Jordan Peele. Like that movie and the original Candyman, there are racial and social themes at play that update the mythology, I thought, in pretty smart and provocative ways. Though I do think it loses its way near the end and gets a little messy, but almost really something. Two and a half stars. And it's playing everywhere. I don't think you want to come this way. <laughs> Not playing Justin Temple, something called Death Rider in the House of Vampires, a horror western directed by musician Glenn Danzig. It features Devin Sawa, Eli Roth, and Danny Trejo. That's the fact, Jack! Oh, a classics, Bill Murray's Stripes is going to play select theaters Sunday. Well, the first Harry Potter movie plays all week in Temple. It's 20 this year. Now at home, the Aretha Franklin biopic Respect hits premium VOD now while it's still in theaters. What are you going to tell me? Everything. New movies on demand, there's no man of God. Elijah Wood interviewing Ted Bundy on Death Row. There's the late great Burt Reynolds in his final movie, the dramedy Defining Moments. Did you not know if this was real? There's song and dance man Ben Platt in Broken Diamonds as a writer who takes in his schizophrenic sister, Lola Kirk. Was the colony about an astronaut who returns to Earth in the future, a hostile wasteland. Around here, we, we speak hamburgers and french fries. <laughs> There's American sausage standoff. Comedy about a couple of guys who meet resistance trying to open a German sausage house in rural America. You could end up meeting some girls. Or you could stay out of my business, Dad. And there's Summer Days, Summer Nights from director Ed Burns about a group of teens in 80s Long Island. You said we were best friends. What are you two doing here? <laughs> then it's on to streaming where the movie Vacation Friends premieres on Hulu, starring Lil Rel Howery and John Cena about a couple who just can't seem to escape the wild and crazy couple that they met on vacay in Mexico. What was your name? Cruella. Then Cruella with Emma Stone, that's officially free now on Disney+. Plus. Apple kicks off a new season of C with Jason Momoa in a blind future. Makeovers are my thing. I will create the next prom king. A bet? Oh, I'm in. And finally, Netflix premieres He's All That. Yep, a gender-swapped remake of the 90s classic She's All That, starring teen influencer Addison Rae as a teen influencer who makes over Cobra Kai's Tanner Buchanan into a prom king hottie. Hey, some of the stars of the original movie even turn up. Okay, see you next time from the director's chair. Okay, so that'd be fun. I was saying as he's showing that, it's got to be a he's all that. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, it was. And you're excited about the Cruella for free? We can watch it now on Disney+. Plus. Don't have to pay for it. That's great. And by the way, the Candyman thing, my mom was a huge Sammy Davis Jr. fan, and she would play that song all the time. Who can make the sun shine? The Candyman can. My sister and I would not sing that in the bathroom. Because you were afraid. The we were terrified, yes. Oh, my goodness. So there you go. We'll be right back. <laughs>